We know this is the very first Dubai AI Week. Uh, what does this AI Week trying to show to the world and why people should choose Dubai uh, to start their AI business? The Dubai Future Foundation is hosting the Dubai AI Week for the first time ever, like you said. And basically, AI is not new to Dubai and Dubai is not new to AI. But what's, what's new is this week where we kind of, you know, brought together all these events that have been taking place and brought them together under this dynamic week that not only uh, includes events that we are running, but also programs and initiatives across the board. So you have the likes of the Knowledge and Human Development Authority uh, running uh, some AI programs in schools. So with 50 schools across the Emirates of Dubai, you have Machines Can See, which is an event more focused around data scientists and academia. And DIFC uh, is also conducting uh, the event called AI Festival, which is again a large event with, uh, with speakers and, and exhibits, but also more focused around investment and other building blocks of the ecosystem. But what we're doing is we're hosting also various events. So we just conducted the AI Retreat, which is a gathering of policymakers around roundtables, ultimately discussing some of the building blocks and enabling ecosystem, understanding the opportunities and the challenges. I and mean, now where we are right now is in the middle of the Dubai Assembly for AI, which ultimately is a place for installations, immersive experiences, workshops, side sessions, panel talks, in a, in basically a room for people to come in and truly understand what AI means to their to their industry. So when you know when we talk about this and when we talk about the Global Prompt Engineering Championship, for example, which is very cool experience where people get to prompt and compete with each other over a prize pool, um, is quite exciting. So when you, when you look at all of these combined together and more across the Emirate of Dubai, between three different locations, 10 different events, over 150 sessions combined, more than 10,000 attendees across the week, if not more. This is a true testament to Dubai being always at the forefront when it comes to adopting cutting edge technology, always looking at opportunities to enable its economy even, even further and, and also understanding you know, what, what are the opportunities and what are the challenges and how can we address these challenges? So these all, all of these things just at the end of the day doubles down on Dubai's, uh, Dubai's place as a hub for uh, cutting edge technology. There are so many tech hubs in the world. Why Dubai? We, um, today we're here in the, in, the, in the midst of this event with the biggest players in the space. Uh, we're talking about all the big tech that you can think of, Meta, Microsoft, uh, NVIDIA, OpenAI, uh, IBM, um, Google Cloud and others, but also we have big government entities that are adopting AI heavily. DIWA, which is our Dubai Electric and Water Authority, the Digital Dubai Authority, amongst others, who are truly adopting, but also we have, we have startups coming in from all over the world. Uh, we have 15 country delegations from literally all continents of the planet coming in to truly immerse and connect. And, and I'm just sharing with you kind of, the, let's say, the tip of the iceberg. But at the end of the day, Dubai is also um, the largest um, ecosystem of uh, AI representatives in the region. And uh, Dubai has uh, done a lot of effort when it comes to uh, let's say, initiatives and programs to help ultimately uh, make this a better place for the ecosystem, which is, again, this, this week being, being one of them. UAE uh, implement this 2031 national strategy for AI. Can you tell us more about that and how can this AI, uh, Dubai, AI week contribute to that? True. So on a Dubai level, what, what we do is we delve deeper into the Dubai Universal Blueprint for AI, which was announced literally a year ago and um, identifies key objectives and let's say main pillars for the blueprint. And also one of the things that came out across, let's say, um, uh, a year or so is also the Dubai Center for Artificial Intelligence, which again is a center to that focuses on awareness and adoption and is tasked also with with the blueprint as well so when you look at the blueprint and its and its objectives you see that ultimately if not all of the objectives have been met uh, within within a year or so and that's the first phase 
of, uh, of the blueprint. And that includes a lot of the adoption that we have, the announcements we've made. So uh, the chief AI officers in the government, that was the first, um, first move that we did. Um, and as well as the One Million Prompters Initiative where we help educate the community. We, we announced the AI SEAL recipients here at the event. Um, there's a lot that are that, that's coming in and uh, we're, we're trying to run as fast as AI is. UAE is uh, one of the biggest trading partners, especially in the Middle East, that is the biggest trading partner for China. And also China is leading in the AI fields. How can our two countries have more collaboration on AI? I think there's so much opportunity in that, in that, in that question. There's so much that can happen. Um, Dubai's been a testbed and a, um, an environment for technologies from all over the world, uh, regardless where they come from. So I think we've been blessed with being the center of uh, uh, the global north and south, but also east and west. I think that's truly what makes Dubai um, the center of the world is that everyone from all over the world comes together and you just see, just see around you uh, today and wh whether it's the delegations, whether it's the speakers, whether it's the representatives, um, there's so much room for technology and China's been making great strides when it comes to AI, lots of great moves, whether it's in the infrastructure or whether it's in the actual uh, platforms and technology. There's so much that's coming up and we would love to explore them further here at the AI Week. Have you been to China and like have you seen like uh, firsthand about China's AI development? I've been to China uh, and I've, I've truly enjoyed my visits to China but I think I've not seen enough let's say personally of the technology but on a larger level uh, the Dubai government has been has been to uh, China and I've only heard great things about these visits. And we know we now see this divide between uh, the world, the U.S. and China, not just uh, trade, but also technology. Are you concerned about that? Should the world more cooperative in the AI field? I think Dubai positions itself as, like I said, as a uh, as a testbed for uh, for the world, and looks at uh, technology based on the contributions makes the, you know, how great of AI um, outcomes that, that can come in, whether it's how great productivity can come in, how great efficiency can come out of AI. So that's where our focus has always been in Dubai. It's, it's to focus more on the quality of the technology, the advancement of the, of, of the technology, how we can focus more on building partnerships and synergies with us as Dubai or with others via Dubai. That's always been kind of our, uh, our ethos. Uh, we, we've always been focused on facilitating these synergies and being a part of these synergies. So um, th that's kind of the approach that we, that we always take. Thank you so much. Really appreciate your time. Thank you.